Hey, what is this? The Dark, the dark Web. web. Well, I know what this is. This is that dark web place where bad people use Bitcoin to buy all sorts of illicit stuff like drugs and counterfeit money and counterfeit credit cards and illegal software and all sorts of other really bad stuff. You know, it's a shame that Bitcoin needs to shed this image of being a bad thing that's only associated with criminal activity. Because the reality is that Bitcoin might be the next big thing. So stop for a moment and think, what if? What if Amazon decided to start taking Bitcoin? What if eBay and PayPal started to take Bitcoin? What if Alibaba started to take Bitcoin? If you're not familiar with Alibaba, it's based out of China and it's bigger than eBay and Amazon put together. Well, Bitcoin is not accepted at any of these quite yet. But you know what? It is making inroads. Bitcoin is accepted at Newegg. And if you're a computer geek, you know what Newegg is. Just recently, you can start using Bitcoin to buy a sandwich at Subway. And other large organizations like Overstock.com have started to accept Bitcoin as a currency. So what is all this Bitcoin nonsense anyway? Well, stick around and I'll answer all these questions and much more in my upcoming cryptocurrency video series. Hey everybody, Steve here, and today I want to start a video series on something that still seems to remain a mystery to most people, and that is this whole world of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency. I've been dabbling in Bitcoin for probably around six months now, and I've been talking with various people about it, and everybody seems to have the same question. And that question is, what the hell is Bitcoin and what can I do with it? Well, in its simplest terms, Bitcoin is a digital currency. It allows you to buy things on the internet without using cash or credit. And the thing that differentiates Bitcoin from what we already know is that there's no bank behind Bitcoin. There's no government behind Bitcoin. Uh, so to that end, it's completely decentralized. There's no, there's no middleman involved in a transaction. Normally in a business transaction, if person A wants to transfer money to person B, they can A, pay by cash, um, or B, pay by credit card, which goes through the bank, or pay by a check, which goes through the bank. Uh, with Bitcoin, there is no bank. So money can go straight from me to you without involving any bank whatsoever. So therefore, it's known as being decentralized. Okay, so the inventor of Bitcoin limited production to 21 million Bitcoins. And as of January 2018, close to 17 million of these Bitcoins have been mined. Mining is a little confusing, but go ahead and kind of kind of hang with me here for a second. Mining is a process of pooling lots of computer resources together to solve complex mathematical computations. And these mathematical computations are essentially the Bitcoin transactions. So when you do a Bitcoin transaction with somebody, your Bitcoin transaction is lumped into a block of many, many, many other transactions. And the computers go to work, and there's a lot more to it than this, but just in, in, in an effort to keep it as simple as possible, the computers verify that the transaction is legitimate, verifies the source, ensures the funds are there, handles the encryption, and then combines it into a block of transactions. And you may have heard the term blockchain. Blockchain is a technology that is kind of like a general ledger. It takes all of these blocks and it is a transparent record of every single transaction in the block. And every block is dependent on the block that came before it. Therefore, the term blockchain. So the blockchain is completely transparent and that ledger is out there for everybody to see. Now, the interesting part about it is that your Bitcoin account, better known as a Bitcoin wallet, is just associated with a long string of characters. With each Bitcoin wallet, there does not need to be any reference to any specific person, entity, corporation, or what have you. So that's what makes the Bitcoin anonymous. So even though the blockchain is completely transparent and verifiable, the sender and receiver are just a long chain of numbers that wouldn't mean anything to anybody. And therefore, it's anonymous. Okay, so we've talked a lot about using Bitcoin as a currency, but what about using Bitcoin as an investment vehicle? Uh, 
Bitcoin as of what the 9th of January 2018 is trading at right around 14.6 and change and you can see by this graph that goes back one month that it has been as high as 19.7 and as low as 12.5 so very volatile if we go back a little bit more in time you can see that if you had gotten in uh, in October you could have gotten it for uh, 5707 and if you really really want to get sick if you had gotten in as recently as a year ago you could have gotten Bitcoin for 249 and as you can see the exponential jump just in the last couple of months Okay, so we've got a lot of charts and a lot of exciting colors here in front of us right now. Uh, I'm going to wrap up the what is Bitcoin video for now. But uh, video two, I'm going to show you the easiest way to get you some Bitcoin. We're also going to talk uh, a little bit about some other cryptocurrencies. And I'm going to dedicate video three to Ripple. Uh, you can get Ripple right now for right around $2.10 as opposed to uh, Bitcoin for $14,545 uh, right now. And oh, by the way, you don't have to buy a full Bitcoin. You can buy a, a fraction of a Bitcoin. You can buy $100 worth of a Bitcoin. You can buy $50 worth of Bitcoin. So you still can buy in fraction amounts uh, and then still benefit, you know, obviously if it goes up and... You know, it might go up, might go down. But anywho, uh, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Please uh, like, subscribe, uh, comment. I do not purport to be a know-it-all in the wonderful world of cryptocurrency. As a matter of fact, I just got in six months ago myself. I've got a lot to learn myself. I'm having a ton of fun with it. I uh, thought I would share what I've learned so far, hopefully in a way that uh, will help uh, particularly beginners. So uh, I'll see you in the next video.